Hey guys, thank you for clicking on today's video. Before getting into things, uh, I wanted to be a little bit more serious. If you don't want to completely skip this part, that's fine, that's fine. I included chapters, you know, you can click ahead. I tell you where the actual video starts. Um, but I, I wanted to talk about something. I recently just did a video on Triangle Strategy, which is a fantastic game. Um, I'm not here to plug that video. What I am here to talk about is Triangle Strategy is a game where the main plot happens uh, as a result of invasion under false pretenses and imperialism. Um, the war is a farce. It is just an excuse for imperialism. And while that game is fantastic and I am able to enjoy for what it is, uh, as I was playing it, I could not separate what was happening here from what was going on in Ukraine at the same time. Now, normally, I'm not a very political person in the sense that I am not very open about my politics. I try to keep things, you know, a little under the surface. I don't talk about things too much, at least not on this channel. I'll talk about them sometimes on Twitter, but I don't go out there and, like, broadcast what my opinions are or anything uh, in my videos. However, uh, this was a situation that I felt was just... It bugs me too much. It bugs me too much. Um, and while... Obviously, there's not a ton I can do. Um, I did want to go ahead and say that this video is going to be a part of a YouTube fundraiser. Uh, YouTube has this option where you can add your videos as part of a fundraiser for a charity. Um, I haven't exactly decided on the charity just yet. Uh, I will be making that decision a little bit later on. But if you guys could um, go and donate, I would really appreciate it. There should be a little button below the video. I would have put this at the beginning of the triangle strategy video, and I initially, that was the plan. But as things went on, I decided I would put it at the front of the Ultimax video because this is more guaranteed to actually get likes. Uh, or, like, not get likes, get views. Um, I'm doing all this in one take, if you couldn't tell. But, uh, yeah, if you guys could go down there. If you are able, if you are able, I'm not demanding anything. I am simply just asking. If you are able, just go down there donate some money what's happening in ukraine is uh genuinely horrific it is awful um and yeah thank you on with the video i'm gonna get this right out of the way i suck at fighting games i'm not into fighting games i never even touched ultimax prior to this back when it came out i hadn't played p4 yet so i didn't pick it up even now i still haven't actually finished p4 i haven't finished p3 either to be totally honest I just hate the randomized dungeons so much that I end up getting bored of dungeon crawling in those games. I'll finish them someday, but until then, Atlas was nice enough to send me a code for the re-release of Ultimax, and I finally got to try it out. And like I said, I suck at it. Oh my god, I actually won a round! I'm sticking with single player. Persona 4 Arena Ultimax actually kind of surprised me. I had always heard it was very beginner friendly, but I now realize I never fully understood what that meant. The game includes a ton of modes and features to help those who just want to play the game and enjoy what content it has to offer do just that. On top of a standard training mode, there's also a lesson mode that teaches you the basic controls and fundamentals, challenge mode that has you testing out character specific combos, Story mode has an autoplay option so you don't even have to worry about playing the game, and arguably the most important feature, an auto combo button. Quite literally a press button do combo button, you can just spam light standard to chain together different moves that will get you through most of the standard AI fights in the game. However, it's also not restrictive in any way. I found I like to use the auto combo more as like a base to then branch out and add on in different ways. The last normal fighting game I put any time into was seven years ago, but everything Ultimax does, I really felt like helped ease me into things and get a good handle on it all. Each fighter has their own unique ways to play. Kanji is a grappler, Yosuke is rushdown, Yukari is a zoner, Labras hits super hard, etc. While I messed around with a few characters, I ultimately found myself gravitating towards Elizabeth, so you'll be seeing a lot of her in this video. The content on offer here in Ultimax is actually pretty meaty. The main draw of the package is the story mode, which includes a campaign for the P4 cast, a campaign for the P3 cast, and even includes the entire story of the original release of Arena. The structure of all three, however, is where I can imagine some people losing interest. 
Fighting games aren't exactly famous for their comprehensive stories, but seeing as this is coming from the developer of Guilty Gear and Blaze Blue, as well as being a spin-off of a heavily story-based RPG series, the stories on offer are actually incredibly detailed and long. Emphasis on long. Story mode is essentially a visual novel where every 20 minutes or so you get to fight someone for 3 minutes before going back to 20 minutes of character portraits talking to each other with really funny mouth animations. <laughs> While I understand it's difficult to have a fleshed out, well written narrative in a genre where a single instance of play can last 3 minutes, this was just way too slow for me to enjoy. In an RPG, I'm much more tolerant of this kind of thing, but here it's different. Neither story was particularly engaging enough for me to deal with the slow pacing. That mixed with the fact that it takes a tenth of the time to get into a match in order to actually finish it, just soured the experience for me. Maybe if I come back with a different mindset later, I'll be able to appreciate what's happening here. But as it stands, I lost interest before I could even control my character. It's outside of the story mode that I found a lot more to love about this game. Arcade mode is like an abridged version of the story mode of Ultimax, while score attack mode is like a harder version of that. My favorite mode, however, is easily Golden Arena. Golden Arena has you going from battle to battle, slowly earning experience points that let you level up, unlock new passive skills, and increasing that character's stats. Not only is this mode incredibly addicting, but it feels like the perfect blending of Persona's RPG elements and the fast action you expect from Arxis. Graphically, Ultimax seriously holds up. While I've never been into fighting games, I've always acknowledged that Arc System Works are masters of the craft when it comes to the aesthetics and visuals of their games. While the sprite work here is beautiful, what really stands out to me are the backgrounds. All of them are filled with detail that never distracts from gameplay, yet remains a treat for the eyes. The UI is also pretty fantastic. It honestly feels like a prototype version of the style P5 would later adapt, you could even say it's oozing with style, <laughs> get it? Now, one thing a lot of people are probably wondering about is the online play. While it's been confirmed that rollback will be added to the game in summer 2022, what is here works 90% of the time. The other 10% is full of slowdown, lag, and the inability to join lobbies. And confusingly, being kicked from a lobby while being told it's closed despite the fact that I was in a call with Gnarly, and he could confirm that was not the case. Now. It's just kind of a lot of hate for you. Oh, no. Why? Oh, no! Oh, my God. This is like oh. Smash, but worse. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's trying. Speaking of lobbies, one frankly baffling decision is the difference in the lobbies used in each version. On PlayStation, lobbies simulate an arcade with 2D sprites running around, which is more akin to how Cross Tag Battle and Dragon Ball Fighters handles their lobbies. On PC and Switch, however, they're much more basic. Well, I'm not saying one type is inherently better than the other. I'm just confused as to why they would make such a split in the first place. It's frankly baffling. The last thing I wanted to talk about isn't a problem with the game itself, but rather it was a problem I had getting it to run. I got it on PC, and while on my desktop the game ran without flaw, on my laptop I was never able to get it to run, period. I repeatedly got the error message, init renderer. I tried doing research as to what the problem might be, and while it seems to be something that has plagued past Arxis games, I simply was unable to get it to work. I've reached out to Atlas West about it and they're currently looking into a fix. If something comes of it, I'll pin a comment so anyone else who has this issue can hopefully get it running. Overall, I have to say I was pleasantly surprised with Ultimax. As a first timer to this game and not at all a fighting game fan, I really enjoyed my time with it and absolutely plan on playing more in the future with friends and maybe even doing community nights. While I have my gripes, I would be lying if I said I didn't enjoy this game. Ultimax is a pretty damn good game, and one I would recommend to fans of Persona, fans of fighting games, and even those who have zero experience whatsoever with the genre. But what do you guys think of Ultimax? What do you think about this specific re-release? 
Let me know down in the comments below, and hey, while you're there, leave a like, subscribe, and check out my other videos. I just released a review of Triangle Strategy the other day, and I'd really appreciate it if you gave it a look. If you want to help support the channel, check out my Patreon. Link is in the description below. Okay, now I gotta think of a joke to end the video on. Probably something about fan service, since that was a stupid thing that was said. Oh, I know. Why wasn't there any Persona 5 in Ultimax? For a game that's marketed as being filled with fan service, you'd think they'd include literally the best game in the series. So what if it came out before P5? They could totally add in all eight Phantom Thieves, a brand new story mode, 20 new stages, a dating mode, and make Joker real big on the cover. Come on, Atlas, step up your game. Run. Run.